Thanks for joining us this afternoon. This is what it's like in the trenches. And after a full day of fighting. This is every day this week at least. Primary care doctors across the world are on the front lines of a small but growing offensive called COVID-19. There was an increase of more than 200 cases in the last day. The Centers for Disease Control update any and all news, including what we've come to know, the three confirmed cases of coronavirus in Frisco. In the same city, Dr. Kathleen Stokes has been running her practice for 32 years. Oh, shit. That's a genuine response. And from someone who sees ill patients firsthand. This strain is just a nasty son of a gun. Collin County confirms a father, mother, and their three-year-old child have it. That child may be one of the youngest cases in the country. This pediatrician doesn't like hearing that. She also doesn't like the ongoing confusion over where to send her patients for tests for that virus. Some of them are not taking our patients. This, as everyone tries to figure out what exactly we're fighting. In the meantime... We don't need folks stockpiling toilet paper and water bottles at home. Collin County tells us about 20 people, family, friends, co-workers of that family, had some exposure. They were all told to stay home and stay isolated. I'm worried about a pandemic if people don't cooperate. There is enough worry to go around. Difference is, doctors like Kathleen return every day to those front lines. It took me a long time to become a doctor. And I'm not going to just throw my hands up and say the hell with it. Uh, you, know, you know, we had a chance to talk with the Collin County Judge Chris Hill. He says there will be more cases. Just expect it and do not panic. And also, there were some school age kids inside that home. We, uh, they go to Tadlock Elementary. We're being told that those kids did not have symptoms and were not contagious while at school. Reporting live here in McKinney, I'm Joven Panic.